Transitions. All life is transitions from one state to another. This is demonstrated in the letter Aleph, where the Yud is one state, and then the Vav is a transition to the other Yud. In a strange sense, these two Yud states are actually the same, miraculously the same, that only appear different. So the real life occurs here in the transition. This is the same thing that happens since we're going to start Discuss, to discuss uh, Pesach with the going out of Mitzrayim. We had a state of slavery in Mitzrayim and then freedom afterwards. The going out of Mitzrayim, the transition state, is the important thing, the transition. In a certain sense, that's what a Jew is, a transition person, an ivri, from the same word ma'ava, which means transition, the root of uh, ayin, bet, uh, resh, this whole thing of transi transition states. Everything is found in the Aleph. And the Aleph is the ultimate transition state. With the Vav showing itself as the dominant characteristic. The middle. The same thing occurs in the human body where the Yud is the right hand, the other Yud is the left hand, and the Vav is the spine in between. The third hand, the Yad Rama, this filters down into the origin of movement in the center point between the two legs. The center, this balanced transition point of no movement, this quietness, it's the same in dance, from one leg to the other, but with a silence, a stillness in between. The same thing occurs between two words, this, that. The silence in between is the pregnant, another word from the root, ayin, vav, resh. Same thing occurs in meditation. The ultimate meditation is on the breath. The transition states are the important parts of meditation. The initial breathing in of meditation is with the yud, if we're going to do it with a yud, he, vav, ke. The initial start from an empty lung is with two breaths, two, two movements, a short and then a longer breath to come in, a hold at the hay, which gives the first part of the transition now to the out breath, which is the vav. And then the hay is when there's no air in the lung at all. From that no lung in the air at all, comes a transition state 
and the name starts again with the initial tip of the Yud, the Keter of the Yud, before we even enter Chokhmah. Of course, the in-breath has two dimensions. And whenever there are two dimensions, there's always something in between. This is my inner logic of Torah discussion and Talmudic methodology. All we have to do is examine everything with the Aleph. There are always two sides of the coin and the middle side of balance. The answer is usually found in the middle Hara point. There's always transition states, even when you use a gartle to pray, of the upper and the lower parts of the body. There's a transition point at the gartle. The same thing with diaphragmic breathing. The breath is used, the diaphragm as the transition point in the body. Everything has these transition points. In music, a musician practices his transition points. Because once you play, you kind of like go along with the flow. And then when you have to change from a 4-4 four, four to a 3-4, that's the transition. When you have to change from the uh, chorus to the whatever, these transitions have to be practiced. Everything has a beginning, a middle, and an end. These are the three lines of the cob that come down in these straight world, the balance middle is always the key to find a balance. This balance can only be assumed after the two lefts and rights have an equality. If there is a dominance in either one of the right or left hand, or if there's a dominance in the right and a submissiveness in the left, you'll never get to the balance of the center. There, if, if, the, if you're a right-handed person and say, oh, I never use my left, you will never get to the center. Your daily function must be with a balanced set of hands. then the center hand can function. To get this center balance going, that's why in yoga they have forward bending, and then that's balanced off with a backward bending. If you have twisting to the right, then you have twisting to the left. To get this centeredness, The whole secret is to get the tree of life in the center. Theoretically, to get the kundalini to rise. My brother has suggested to me that the shashumna nerve is an imaginary nerve that works wonderfully once you get the Ida and the Pingala in balance. This imaginary nerve opens. The brain opens to its potentiality and creates a synthetic environment.
This is the same thing that happens in Judaism when you do the Yad uh, Gadola of the right hand and, and then the Yad Hazacha of the left hand. And then the Yad, if when those two are in balance, the Yad Rama opens in the center. Now we know that as a third hand it's called the Yad Rama. There aren't three hands. Obviously, there aren't three hands. It's an imaginary synthetic hand. It's the spine. In the same way that the Shashumna runs its energy up the spine. This is an imaginary hand. It's called a hand. It's a metaphor. It's a balance in the center of the body. This can only be acquired when there's a balance of left and right. It's the balance of the transition. There are only transition points. These transition points have to be have to become come back to. We have to come back to these balance and transition points. So we are in Mitzrayim. We go out. We're in the desert. We come back to the barrier that we have crossed, the transition, and find out that all these transitions are the things that we're looking for. The Ben Hashemashot, the transition states between waking, uh, between sleep and, and wakefulness. All of these transition states that happened every day, always knowing that the world is created anew every day and its minuscule form in every breath. That we die every day, that sleep is one sixtieth of death. We wake up anew to Modi Ani every morning. And we put our hands together at Modi Ani. And after it, we, we separate it into two. And the whole point after that separation is to go wash your hands. And then bring them back together to rub, to bring them back together from the two. These movements of one hand to two hands and back to one hand again are the unconscious underlying logic and logics of Judaism which is not separated from the body itself. These mental states. Every person derives his own interpretation according to the level that he is on from his readings from his prayers, from his level of being, and from his work on himself. The more work you put on yourself, the more refined your level of being. It's as simple as that. It's a one-to-one -one correspondence. You'll exist in energies that you don't even recognize, have emotions and feelings sensitive more sensitive than the normative man. And that's what we're looking for. Recognize in daily life your transition states. See them as you're a 
giver and a receiver and what's in between. The transition states as shown on the Shabbos uh, tractate, the first Dav, Dav, Bet, Dav, first Dav of Shabbos of a Kira and then a Hanacha and the movement in between. It's the movement in between past the, the barrier. It's all one. All three aspects are only one. Very much like the three blasts, different, uh, the tekiya, the terua, and the tekiya. Are they three different sounds? I mean, three different blasts, or are they considered one? Bring the olive with you wherever you go. The yud on top, the yud on the bottom, and the vav in the middle. Analyze everything with this olive, and you will not go too far wrong. Everything comes out of the olive. All the letters, all the numbers. That olive is a three part, a beginning, a middle, and an end. Did you ever play chess? Transitions from one stage to another. That's what we're talking about. Feel them in your own life. Begin to feel them in your own life. Transition states is what makes one feel alive because there's a habitual and then one always knows his transitions. One knows his first day of school, his first kiss, his first his first well his bar mitzvah, his his, his marriage, his high school graduation. He'll know, know everything that happened to him first because it's transition from one stage to another. And this is what I bring to you, this knowledge of consciousness of transition states.